This is the cable that has everyone talking, and certainly Kenyans are excited at the coming of age of that long-held dream of faster, cheaper, fancier internet. As a student, getting information, accessibility to information will be much more faster. Mm, as you can see, in the cyber, we are just spending cash, so maybe, and it depends on the time you spend in the cyber. I expect uh, first for me business to be very easy uh, because um, with the e-world right now, I, I don't have to go out there to talk to each and every of my clients. Seacom's 1.28 terabytes capacity became the first cable to connect East and South Africa to the rest of the world via India and Europe. Seacom's 1.28 terabytes capacity became the first cable to connect East and Southern Africa to the rest of the world via India and Europe. Because Seacom is really what's going to give you all the possibilities to access the technology and for the people to have access to internet, speed internet in the house, to have edge density television. You will be able to download your emails at a blink of an eye. You'll be able to get these documents from the website. Essentially, data-heavy applications such as video conferencing, internet protocol TV, and high-definition broadcasting should not only be commonplace, they should also be significantly cheaper. I mean, it's going to open up a lot of development in uh, rural Kenya. Uh, reason being uh, the initiatives like the digital villages uh, under the Kenya City board, those are being rolled out, meaning that um, those rural areas will also be able to take advantage of the cable and the fiber. A lot of uh, Kenyan local content to be actually posted on the internet. But some last mile providers say the other costs beside the international bandwidth remain constant and costs may only come down 30%. International bandwidth is only a fraction of the service to the end user. The spectrum fees that I've just talked about is still very high. The last mile uh, services are still very expensive. The energy costs are still high. When you put all those together, all the other costs are actually going up, whereas it's only the international bandwidth uh, that is going, uh, that is, that's going down. The international bandwidth charges for operators has come down 90%. Whether your charges will come down 90% is unlikely, and when that will happen is not exactly clear. Right now, there are the testing stages, and when that is done, then you can expect it to be deployed on your mobile phone, on your computer. Larry Medowo, KTN in Nairobi.